Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Final tracks of the game. And I think there's no better character to choose than a drugged up dinosaur slash dragon on a motorcycle. I think anyone can agree with this one. Here we go. This isn't going to be the final part. I'm going to show off some like battle mode stuff and stuff like that. But this is the last set of tracks in the, the entire game. Eight parts for eight cups. I think that's pretty fair, I have to say. Keeps things nice and organized, keeps things good to go and easy to find as well. So, final tracks, as I said, here we go. And we got a middleweight character. Yoshi, I believe, is middleweight in this game. So, we got a balanced ending here. But as I said before, middleweight characters are kind of like the black sheep of the Mario Kart character universe because they seem to be like right in the middle of anything and they don't excel in anything and yeah hopefully oh wait, I, I forgot about the shortcut yeah baby <laughs> if you have a mushroom you can take that shortcut and straight away means I can abuse my bikeish powers that is a powerful thing that Yoshi can use and any other character with bike of course but it's especially powerful when you're high on drugs because you're flying you're full of speed and you're hyper and Power up your car with that stuff too, and just look how fast it goes, you stay in first place for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm not getting bombarded by things because I'm in first place, but that's just how things are going here. Also, look at look off of the uh, oil slicks out on the road there. That will cause you to spin out if you ride over them. So beware! Man, that's really all there is to this track. Everything else is pretty straightforward, as is a SNES track. And I should also mention that the uh, retro track music is just a little bit revamped compared to the original SNES track. So it's a little bit of a remix, but it still retains the nice feel of the original that it had. So it doesn't, like, ruin the uh, good retro uh, nostalgia memories people have associated with these tracks. Very nice touch. Just a little change goes a long way. Not too much. Makes people happy. Well, it makes me happy at least. <laughs> when, when I when I see people bring back older things and newer games, you know, for a sheer, a sheer a mostly nostalgic touch, I usually like it to be as untouched as you as as possible, so to speak, just to retain the original feel. Uh, unless it's like designed to be. A reimagining of an older game or something like that. That's the only thing that I could possibly see. But you know, then if it's a re if it's a reimagining, then it's not actually the same game anyway. So yeah, you get the idea. Um, in the DS version of this game, you can actually power slide and boost through a lot of those flower pot area things, the flowers that are growing through the areas. Uh, to take shortcuts, like way at the beginning, you've seen that circular flower area there? Well, you could go right through that if you boost through it with like a character with a high power slide. Like, I think I think the higher the acceleration a character has, the better their power slide boosts are. So if you have a character with a high uh, acceleration... Oh, I did, I did time that right! Yeah, baby! I just thought I'd mention that. <laughs> Characters with a higher acceleration in Mario Kart DS seem to excel uh, compared to other characters because of the fact that the power slide boosts pretty much make the game of Mario Kart nowadays. So if you don't have those kinds of boosts, you are going to have a lot of trouble keeping up with the other characters because they're going to constantly get like half second, one second, you know, boosts every corner as opposed to you struggling to get these tiny tenth of a second boosts on co oh that was a close one on corners and oh boy so that's another reason why bikes are so much better than cars in Mario Mario Kart Wii I don't I don't even know if it's even a good idea to take a car over a bike in Mario Kart Wii come to think come to think of it unless you you can take advantage of that higher end boost that cars get as opposed to bikes get, you know, the orange sparks. But I don't know of many tracks that have long enough turns that, you know, you would be able to power up your... Ah, uh, oh, Nick the Flowers. You would be able to power up your power slides like that. 
So, I would say take a bite all the time. <laughs> oh, I just power slid the wrong way. That was my own fault. I tried to take it a little bit too tight, and I wasn't turning enough to one side. <sighs> In fact, I wasn't turning at all to one side. I was turning to the other side. <sighs> Second place. Can I catch up to my Luigi? Oh, poopers. No, no, no. Eat my bananas, though. No. <sighs> No, this isn't looking too good, but I might be able to pull it off with this item box here, Red Shell. At least give me second place, unless someone gets hit by a mole or something like that. Or I can overtake him with my bike powers, though it's doubtful. Nah, not gonna happen. <laughs> but that's okay, I guess. Do -do -do! Next race, here we go. I'm still in first place, so I'm still in a good position. I couldn't imagine attempting to get three stars. You know, trying to get good enough at this game to get three stars on each track as you're ranking. Like, you've seen it at the rank, at the end of each track. Well, that determines, like, how fast... I mean, that is determined by how fast you complete the tracks, what your place was, and stuff like that. I just couldn't imagine going through this entire game and trying to three-star it with how much luck is involved in this Mario Kart game. I can't see anyone possibly getting three stars in each of these tracks consistently. Seriously, if you can do that, I would love to see it. Post a video response or something like that. I would be astounded if you could do that. Uh, something interesting about this uh, Donkey Kong track here is these grassy... Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, this grass on the off-road here doesn't affect you at all, so you can actually ride into it. So this dirt path here that makes it look like that you're supposed to ride in it is quite misleading. And look at that, I had a fake item box at the wrong time, so I couldn't block that shell out. What a shame. Uh, um, there's a, a little shortcut that you can do in that twisty, turvy, twi twisty topsy turvy area at the bottom of the mountain there. Um, I'll show you when I get up to the point that you can actually jump over some of those gaps to take a shortcut. I don't know if I'll be, I'll be able to pull it off, but I know it's possible to do in both the Wii and the GameCube version of this track. Uh, so I guess I'll see once I get there. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to do it. You have to have enough speed to make it over the gap. So, yeah, what you want to do here is first take this turn very wide, and... Turn around and go across like that. Yeah, that's how you do it. That is how you do it. I didn't do it as smoothly as I've seen some time trialers do it, but that's about how you do it. You have to get to the corner like that. So that's a neat, nifty little shortcut that you can use for this track. And there really isn't any more shortcuts that you can use on this track. It's pretty linear the whole uh, way throughout this track. Go, Yoshi, go! Fly through the air like Superman, even though you're not a man, you're a dinosaur slash dragon thing. No one really knows what the heck a Yoshi is. I would say it is a dinosaur slash dragon. I mean, if you look, like, in Super Mario World, the whole place is called Dinosaur Land, isn't it? Or Dinosaur Island or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But... The coins that you collect with Yoshi's face on them are called Dragon Coins. And Yoshi is also capable of breathing fire, but he does have some dinosaur traits. Well, then again, dragons and dinosaurs are of the lizard variety. So, uh, maybe Yoshi is like a crossbreed or something of the two? I don't know. Anyway, next track, the final track. A legendary track of the N64 Mario Kart, Bowser's Castle! That flaming statue at the beginning there is just like, not in the way at all, neither are those. <laughs> I don't even know why they're there, they're just like, for detailing. They don't do anything. Anyway, here we go! Three, two, one, go! <sighs> the atmosphere of this track is pretty awesome, I have to say. It was pretty... Oh, I got squishy. <laughs> I, I had a lot of... I mean, this track is pretty tight back in the N64 era, and it gave me a lot of trouble. But this one, not so much. It's actually a pretty easy track, as opposed to the N64 track. Um, 
The controls in the N64 game are also a little bit slip more slow, whoa, 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 a little bit slipperier, so that may also account for the difficulty of this track in the N64 version. We got some stairs here, woo, like this corner right here. It would be next to impossible to get around that corner without touching the grass in the N64 version, but in this one you can do it pretty easily. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee